gets really tense towards the end, doesn't it? We got like the skull and bulk music of uh, <laughs> Shadow of the Beast. Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm here. Halo Infinite stream? I have to have an Xbox for that. Which I, I, which I, I don't have anymore, ironically. I, I've, I've gone through two Xbox Ones, just kind of like giving them away to people. Because <laughs> I just had no use for them at the time. I feel really... Oh, it's on Steam for free? Hmm. Maybe. I don't know if my computer could handle it. Anyway, I'm getting off task here. Um, I, I'll probably check it out, though. But I digress. Uh, welcome. Um, my cable... Tangled in my chair. I'll probably check out or check out the infinite. But welcome back, welcome back to sneakers. Uh, I'm gonna be setting a new speed run today. I'm gonna be setting a new world record because I tried two weeks ago based off my maps, and as for everyone who was there, who remembers the Xbox overheated twice, uh, which left me unable to. <laughs> which left me unable to actually do the speedrun and record it. So, uh, two things. I want to. I'm, I'm here to fix that. It runs great. I beat it last night. I, I did a little, um, like dry run. Uh, I did. I, I was able to get through the levels that were freezing just fine. So that was great. But I also realized I don't have like a YouTube recording of the speedrun, like my last speedrun. And so I don't have like a hard copy of it anywhere except for my hard drive. So um, this is also gonna fix that. And Apollo's here. Yeah, he's hanging out. I couldn't figure out what to put there. What is that on my foot? <laughs> There's like something on my foot. I think that's the box art. Oh, it says my name. Oh, I bet that thing reverted. Ah, God. Every time with this, but it's got my it's got my name hanging out. I don't care. I'm I'm gonna speed run. <laughs> I'm here to play speed. I'm, I'm here to play sneakers. Not true. Hey Sardis. Thanks. Mouse is in the house. Okay, um, I really just love that theme. So I'm gonna get right down to it here. Uh, this, my last run is two hours and 37 minutes, so I should be able to shave like a good 40 uh, or 50 minutes off it. Uh, since the last run was kind of just me finishing the game, you know, like I, I, I was just, I had beaten the game twice at that point. So this game is uh, very original Xbox. <laughs> If you don't know the lore behind Sneakers, it is a Toys R Us exclusive uh, for the original Xbox developed by uh, the Japanese d developer Media Vision, uh, creator of Wild Arms. Love this, this music. I think I'm going to rip the music from this game at some point. I haven't decided. I, I, I truly do love the music to this. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna get ready though. So on uh, on three, one, two, three. Oh, it didn't work. Why, why isn't it overriding it? <sighs> Gotta reset. <laughs> this happened last time, this happens every time. Live Split says it's going to override other programs and then it actually doesn't. <laughs> so, it's perfectly fine. We get to see that good Xbox intro again. Yeah, lie split. So yeah, again, Media Vision, developers of Wild Arms, they're most known for. They're still around. I found out. I was gonna try to like at their Twitter, but they don't have a Twitter. They're just kind of a small Japanese developer, so. Alright, on three. Uh one, 
two, three. So, the story to this game is, of course, uh, we have to find Tiki, who's Bonnie's little brother. He's missing. Um, and we think the rats took, took him. Because there's some strange rats around, but I think the rats are just eating the food. So, the goal in each level, again, if you haven't seen me play this 900 times at this point, uh, is to find every rat, and then it, it triggers a special, it triggers a special little, a special little segment. It triggers some fun. It, it starts the fun fights, you know, it starts the, definitely not the worst part of the, of the game, actually, is the fights. <laughs> I enjoy looking at rats. But it's a much more interesting uh, Thank you for the rats, Goji. Uh, there's a certain number of rats in each level that I have to find that are wearing different colored helmets. Uh, those unlock the different colored fights. Yeah, pr press X to check this rat. I've played this- I've actually speed ran this enough now that I have it mostly memorized or- oh shit, or at least this level. And most of two, so... I actually accidentally became a speedrunner. <laughs> I guess it's a- it's sort of a fake it till you make it thing. I don't know, this game was so easy to like route in my brain because it's all on rails. Alright, so that's uh, that's all eight blue rats. It'll never be this easy ever again. Excellent. The good eats theme. Anyway, my, my goal is to, with these maps I developed, I've talked about it before, but my goal is to, like, vectorize them um, and just make, like, actual, maybe not vectorize, but photo, make Photoshop maps um, so that anyone can run this game. Um, but it does have a pretty high barrier, like, cost of entry, which is owning an Xbox and owning a copy of Sneakers, since you can't emulate this. So these fights, the goal in these fights is to beat up all of the captain rats, I found out, finally. These are the rats that are usually wearing coats and like slightly fancier outfits. And then at the end of the fights, once they're all dead, the fights are just over, so it's it's perfect. I've, I've luckily- shit. I've luckily been able to um, kind of streamline the fights at this point too, they're kind of the most random part of the game. but. But they're, in general, they don't take much time, like, at all, so... The, the, only, the only thing you really have to worry about is if one of your party members gets killed because this game features permadeath. Which I think happened in my uh, actual speedrun, like, the recorded one, <laughs> like, my, the world record. I actually, I think I get, like, uh, one of the later rats that joined, or one of the, one of the later, later mice that joined. Because he's kind of he kind of sucks. <laughs> anyway, welcome everybody. There's a bunch of new emotes. Most of them are free. Twitch Twitch saw fit to give everybody emotes. At some point, like free ones, especially follower ones. So. We're in the bedroom now. It's fine. I'm actually really happy about that one. I really like the little Mickey for GB uh, Game Boy Color. Like. I was mostly just mad that it, uh, I had to, like, it was, like, one pixel off of the square. 
It, it qualifies as a rat game. And when I used to do the, the rat theme the days, uh, that kinda, it kind of showed up a few times, because kind of, I'm determined to beat it, but it's it's very unplayable, unfortunately, like, like most Tarantula software games. Play Tarantula Studios? I don't know, one of those. Studios are software. The, the Rockstar subsidiary, I think. Activision? A long time ago. I just know they did the two, um, they did the two, um, licensed Austin Powers games as well. Uh, they also did Rats, uh, which is probably the most playable game that they made, I think. Even if it is just, like, an Amiga platformer on the Game Boy. It's definitely the one I played the most. Screw this up. Bad, bad route. There's a red rat in the hallway, according to my map. But he's right here. I always forget about him. Go to the garage next. Music's just going off. That's the hard that's the hard trick right there is you have to slow stop there. Otherwise you'll run up this uh, ladder over here before you can tag that rat, which which costs time, but you can if you can kinda of stop just as you come around the corner you can tag him. <laughs> this is the attic. Mostly using this because the only way to get to one of the fights is through the attic. But also, there's there's a few rats up here. But th again, this this is one of the levels where it feels like they actually had like a definite route in mind that you're supposed to take. Like there's like a there is an efficient route that's pretty obvious. Like the level is designed around it. A few of the levels later do not have that. Like the fifth level is just like a big giant like mess. Fourth, excuse me, fourth level. The fifth level is just a boss rush. It's really boring. into the kitchen, which is the last room I need to clear. Oh, 
yep, I need to drop down like immediately. There's actually two paths here and I didn't know that. Uh, I was attempting a speedrun uh, uh, two weeks ago. Like, again, I, my, I made these maps, but they're not like perfect. So I still have to like go through and refine them if I want to like update them, but I really like the idea of making a guide for a game nobody plays. I don't know why. Or that, that nobody has ever like examined nearly as much. Exactly. It's perfect. Just kind of standing around. Making really good time, actually. Hey, Aki. Thanks. I think I got this. Doing really, really good on this level, actually. I got a little jammed up earlier, but uh, I've nailed like all of this stuff. I've gotten some really quick rat snaps too. I gotta move these pear cookies. It's really funny, I found out it does not matter at all which rat you, um, or which mouse you do to move stuff. Like, whichever one you pick, it's the same every time. Yeah, it's an overheating issue. Uh, it's just because the Xbox was on for like seven hours straight with like, probably not great ventilation. So like, I mean, it makes sense, you know, it's an Xbox, it's very old. It's just a really old PC, right? It's just overheating. I mean, I have it like on a book so that it's not touching the metal uh, and staying hot of like the part that, that uh, I use for uh, capturing, but like that's probably not enough for a computer. Like the book is probably fine. This fight's tricky. Because you don't really have enough, you don't have enough friends to, to do a lot of damage yet. But I've been trying to figure out how I can speed these fights up at all, and where like the pinch point is on fights. I didn't do the kitchen fight again. I keep doing that. I can go do it right now. There's a there's a fight in the kitchen that I keep missing uh, whenever I do this speed run. I'm supposed to like run in there and, and fight some rats. Music, my friends. Oh shit! Thank you, Camille. Thank you, thank you for the sub. I finally moved the alert boxes off of the main thing. It just it just made sense. Anyway, there's a fight like right here. It's fine. It's not very far. I did this last time too, so. See the key is if you can get Two, two, two rats. If you can hit two rats with all your uh, with all your attacks, you basically are doing double damage, right? You can speed up these fights because uh, anybody who gets hit by your punches is affected by them. So if 
you can corral them into a corner, it speeds them up. Like, I just killed two of them in about the same time. It gets a lot easier later. Yeah, there, there's, a, there is, like, strats, but, like, it is all, it's largely random. <laughs> like, if they decide to go that way. It wasn't until, like, um, I think, like, my third playthrough, I think, we I discovered that you could, like, order the rats around to do stuff. Because I just didn't have the book. Very silly. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, bedroom. The little walk cycle. It like kills me. <laughs> oh, why are you going around the outside, bro? That's a bad path. I'm just trying to go right here. This one's pretty easy to group rats on. Uh, you can kind of corral them into those underneath the underneath here. So you always have this like, oh shit button, that's the arm spin. It's like invinci- it has- it's got full iframes, it, it knocks everybody and hits back. And you can do it at any time, but it costs energy. So like, but so there's no downside since you don't keep- since your energy levels don't stay the same between fights. Your, your life is basically a resource in this game, like to speed this up. This is all stuff I kind of just picked up from when I was routing that I, I don't know if I really talked about or not, so... Almost done with level one. Can't wait for level two where I have to start collecting friends so I get like mandatory cutscenes so I can get a drink of water. <laughs> fight is, uh, for level one is actually up through the attic again. Yeah, because they had to- they put this one in a special place, but future, like, final fights are always just, like, very arbitrarily picked, I feel like. Like, it's- it's just like, uh, I don't know, at the central location, that's where the final fight is. This- this level feels like they spent way too long designing it and then had to scramble for the rest of them. In general, though, I, you have to be the one doing the most damage to the boss because uh, the, the, since enemies constantly spawn, your allies will always like uh, they'll go for the like they'll go for the randomly spawning guys over and over again. So it's like you truly have to like if you want these fights to go fast.
Oh, I think we have someone else still. There we go. Alright. Nine minutes so far off. Stage two. Let me get my maps out just in case. This one I have pretty well memorized though. One down, no problem. It's fine. All right, now we have Bonnie. Who really is just like another, you know, body. So it's it's great. The more the more rats we have, the faster it goes. Or the, rather, the more mice. I keep calling them rats. Uh, it's fine. Oh, yeah, no, this is, um, so, Kanilk, this one's, like, routed. The other one was just me finishing the game and skipping cutscenes, uh, so, this one I should be able to shave about, like, 40 minutes off of or so, is, like, my estimate. It just depends on how well I can do the later levels. Like, I don't know level, like, half of level 3 as well, and level 4 I've only done once, like, on the route, and that was last night when I was very tired after work, so, we'll see. Now it is like routed. It's been my my project for the last couple weeks on the weekend. Now I can play like normal games again on the weekend streams. Gotta run up here. Yeah, the first level is really really long. I don't think anyone's seen past like the second level if you play this casually. Thank you, Jenna. Like, the game is, like, pretty short. It's just so brutal with the way that, like, the saves are and the, the time limit. There shouldn't be a time limit in this game. It should be, like, a fun, free exploration game. Like, who, who, what kind of kid wants a time limit in their fun game where you're a little rat that goes around a, a giant world? I don't understand. Like, they really dropped the ball with that. Yeah, exactly. If you beat the second level, you're like, all right, you actually, like, stuck around for this because there's a lot of rats hidden in this level that are very, like, hard to find. I think I played this level, like, six or seven times before we found all the rats. And since there's, like, no guides uh, for this game, like, at all, like, on game FAQs or anything, I, I had to go to, like, I think I watched someone speedrun? Just to get the la- yeah, the chewing sounds great. Just to find out where the last rat was, like... Because I, I had tried and failed, for anyone who has stuck around the channel that long, um, to finish this level, like, over and over again, and it's just, like, brutal. They are great, aren't they? Those Hanna Barbera box. Right now I go up, and then I'm gonna go this way, grab two red rats, and then we're off to the cafe. This level's actually got like a very easy wrap to it, so I don't really anticipate much. Only because, again, I played it so many times at this point that I have this like level memorized. Even though none of the paths like make sense. Like it'll, you'll you'll go north and it'll just take you on this like S-shaped curve, so you end up going like east instead. And it's like, all right, well, I have no idea where the hell I am now. And the map just being straight up wrong, I think, for this level, I think I discovered. Like, one of the rooms, like, I think it's this room, is not shaped like it, this at all. It's, it's shaped like a T. 
or like a like a like a C if I remember right. Like it's like a backward C. But it was just like, are you serious? They didn't even shape the level. Like they didn't. The map is just straight up wrong. Okay. Here we got ten rats down. But like, uh, Danny, like, one of the things too is it's like, it's so funny, because the first level, is, like, the game itself is not very long if you're just, like, set out to actually beat it. It's only, like, four or five hours long, like, watching the cutscenes. And so it just feels like forever because, uh, you're not doing anything, you're just looking at rats. The map is a total deceit, yeah. Like, you're not doing much. You don't get to look at the world as much because you have this little time limit going. And you're really just... It's, it's kind of like Pokemon Snap, but for rats. found out you do need to get up on the roof twice because this cup doesn't have anything in it if I remember right I'm gonna do it again because I always do this and I think there's gonna be a rat in this cup and there never is it, it took a lot though <laughs> Playing through the second level for this level for like the third time and just being like I just don't want to like <laughs> play this anymore. But now it's fun. I don't know. It's weird. Totally right. I like the amount of design that went into these this, this game and like none of the fun and how none of it is fun. <laughs> it's classic Xbox hubris. He's uh, rubbing up against my legs. It's uh, it's tuna time for him, so he, my, my cat Robin gets uh, his can his once once a week can of tuna. Yeah, the the faucet rat is really the one. Making a map was like very elucidating. <laughs> Honestly, to to how it was laid out, it was, it was, it was very fun. I wish I could just scan the graph paper I did it on and call it good. Yeah, Robin gave his blessing, it's fine. He laid, on, he laid on the couch next to me all curled up uh, while I was playing uh, Sneakers last night, too. It was, uh, he was here for it. Is it this one? Oh, fuck, it's the next cup. It's nice. See, this was one I didn't like write down on the, on the map for some unknown reason. What? Am I crazy? gotta be in one of the cups. It's fine. There, there's, there's one. I have six maps right now. Yeah, there's just one left, which is, I think, over here. Hmm. 
You just check my maps real quick, make sure I'm not missing one anywhere else. It's fine, it's not killing the run. <laughs> I'm choking. There he is. I think. That's a piece of trash. I think I did do the wrong coffee cup again. Um, maybe it's random. Maybe I'm going crazy. Like, maybe it's actually like random. Cause I feel like the coffee mug gets changed every single time which one has the rat in it. Cause there's only one more for me to check. And it's uh, this one, I believe. And I swear it's never been this one. Well, it was that one. <laughs> so, you know, never mind. I have that one on my map. I should have just followed my route. That's okay. That added like 30 or 40 seconds. I think it's random. Because before, when I, when I did a speed run like last week, uh, it was a different direction. If that makes sense, like it was, uh, it was one of the back ones. Because I was like, I don't remember having to go up on the awning twice, but I, I had to that time. Very strange. Totally fine. here. Get on the roof. This is, there's a couple more green rats here. You know, I just realized that the ideal way to like play and speed run this is probably to like install it like mod an Xbox and install it onto the hard drive so it has like instant load times. But then I'll have to divide I'll have to divide it up into category run categories, you know, it's just not worth it. This exit from the rooftops puts puts me in the west alley, which is the next area I want to go to anyway, so it's perfect. Like this this kind of just cuts out a whole bunch of uh, time running out in the overworld. <laughs> I don't know why I said overworld, I meant it's one of these alley, the central alley. There's no overworld in this game. <laughs> Six rats are in this uh, alleyway back here, so... This one also feels like it has kind of a straightforward uh, route. That was, like, intentionally designed.
gonna be really hard to rip this music without like the mouse sounds over it. Or the the rat sounds. Faucet rat. I don't think it's worthwhile to save what's his name here. I feel bad for forgetting his name. Ice's boyfriend. Uh, the rat has stuck has his head stuck in the sand. I thought maybe it would speed up fights, but I don't think it's I don't think he helps that much here. And it might actually set up some stuff in um, the next level that's bad, so. There's a there's a there's a friend rat we can get. There's another rat we can get um, here that'll help, but it's an unskippable cutscene. So I think I need to just like not get it because he shows up in level four anyway. So and in level three you have to find all of your friends before you can like beat the level. And I think it adds him and Ice as friends you can find, which is like a bad idea. So Ice is a blue rat we haven't met yet. He's like the leader of the gang. But uh he's he's in a couple cutscenes that I skipped here. But he's the best one. Yeah, he can save himself. He's fine. He shows up. I saves him. I got them all grouped in the corner. Owie. I think I'm good. I think those are the last two. One more fight and then the final fight and that's the end of level two. There's a there's a rat down here I can grab. Oh, you know what? That does drop me right in front of that. Anyway, there's our friend. Bye. Sorry. Ain't got time. Look, I'm still like 20 minutes ahead. And I basically know they're out from here, so I'm gonna start setting my map up for level three. Cause it's a big one. It's like four. I have to do it on like four sheets, uh, just because it's like nine areas or something like that. It's a nightmare. It's also uh, less from memory than this one, so. obstacles in this level too is there's uh, areas that are arbitrarily blocked off by uh, an enemy mouse gang who we end up allying with after this but um they don't show they don't move and they block your path until you uh find enough of the rats that like they're that the fight shows up in their area or whatever but they get beat up by the rats showing up so it's it's fine my route goes completely around that and, Ignores it completely, you know. I did have it on the. I think I did chart it originally, but it's it's unnecessary. 
it seems much fat. They, they don't really add any extra, like... Uh, it wouldn't add any extra, like, speed anyway. So... Because I was like, well, maybe I can route some of it. It's, it just doesn't make sense, so... Because theoretically, you could go through them after you, you know, do the fight in their area, but... Since the whole point is to visit each area, like, once... Not double back as ever. Oh. Did that before. Go right back to where I was. These are like the staircase here just doesn't make sense. Like, it doesn't show up on the map anywhere. Oh yeah, here's an unskippable cutscene. But not very long. if there's like a better way of dealing damage too because there's technically a bunch of like moves you can do according to the uh, the manual but these ones seem to do the most damage give me crackers give me some food Knockdown and the spin is like too good. Get his ass. Gotta be ready for this next segment then. Oh, he's dead. Fifteen minutes up, it's fine. Just furiously mashing A. Alright, welcome welcome to stage three. This is a nightmare stage. Uh, it's way too big. be able to make up a ton of time here and also uh stage five since it's just a bunch of fights and i know how to like optimally do fights now it should be a cake this level does have the best soundtrack though Each, each little one has its own music, each little area. Anyway, this is the playground, well, the park. This is the, uh, this is the swing area.
Gotta run up the swing to get a friend real quick. Uh, Bonnie is over here. Uh, we have to find. I have to find all of my friends again before I can do any of the fights. I really want to know what they're saying because they just speak like sped up Japanese. I'm intrigued, I'm intrigued, especially on the very long cutscenes where they talk for a while. toddler area. Gonna have to loop back through the toddler area later. friend actually I guess they must just be saying like the literal translation huh like in English oh, what's this guy doing he's not even hiding to the fountain and then to the seesaw where it gets kind of complicated. <laughs>
we go up the other seesaw? Because there's uh, two rats. There's a rat over here that we can't see unless we're on the seesaw. Or unless we're on this thing, which requires running from the seesaw. This one's like pretty hidden. Kadama. Yeah, it ended up working. It ended up being an overheating issue because I played sneakers for like seven hours straight that day. I was able to play it just fine last night, so. If it freezes at the same point over here, I'm just going to be convinced that it just doesn't want me to speed run. So I'll, I'll be forced to record it on like a VHS uh, from the CRT because that's where it worked. <laughs> so, just like old style, like high score submissions. Yeah, the fur looks really good in this game. Like, they did a great job rendering it. That's the thing, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of Xbox games that hold up graphically, like, because they were doing, like, some really impressive stuff for the time. But... Not every game is sort of, like, the muddy brown that you expect from the era, or, like, just clunky models. Xbox has, yeah, there's a lot of, uh, really, really good-looking games. I guess that's true. They definitely were just kind of throwing a bunch of stuff at the wall in the Xbox era. I always think of it as the movie console, because it always had all the licensed games. Like, even though the PS2, like, had all of them, too, you know? But I, I always think of the Xbox being the one where it's like, well, we got, like, you know, we could put full-motion movies into our games, which they did a lot, like... Uh, playing through Lord of the Rings The Third Age, that, like, really bad JRPG made by, like, a, a Western studio. It's just, like, Lord of the Rings fan fiction. Uh, I played that, and it's got just, like, a bunch of footage from the movie in it that's, like, in very high depth. So, like, if you want to watch, like, five to ten second clips from, uh, the Lord of the Rings movies, you can. And that was just, like, a thing they would do, I feel like. Like... Our copy, we have a copy of, like, Doom 3 for Xbox 2 that came with, uh, it's got, like, a, the G4 Icons episode of making of, uh, Doom 3. It's really funny. It's just, like, a 45-minute episode. It's just, you could put film on the Xbox uh, DVDs or whatever they are. Or you could put video, and it was, like, no big deal. I think that's all of them. Oh, I need to go to the sandbox. I'm a fool. Oh yeah, Morrowind on it I really want to play. We have like an inferior version of it though. We need like the game of the year version. I would love to play Xbox Morrowind. You know I have like PC Morrowind and all. Yeah, I, went, I remember I never had an Xbox, but I did go to like a Halo land once with some friends. That was pretty fun. Everyone bringing their big bulky CRTs up down. It was like 16 people or so. This 
this one right here. That's a sneaky one. section. Way too fast. So I did not expect that. Anyway, this is all for one rat. The uh, the Matrix, you know, parody. This is like that's like one of those weird like uh, content generated things. Can I like see him? Oh, I can. Yo. I'll save some time. my map. Yeah, I found new tech. There's a, I think I can double back here into a different direction and save a few seconds. There's Watt. I think it'll be faster if I run, like, to the left here. Normally I would go back up the way I came, but I think if I run to the left here, I can hop down to the sandbox and grab the last two rats in this area. Last one, really. Yeah, sweet. Okay, go back to the slide, do a fight. To the fountain. Yeah, that's new tech right here. I love. I know. I love Watt's dumb little bit banker's vest. I don't know. Very, very like specific sets of armor for uh, the, the rats too. Very, very. Who's making tiny little like German World War One armor for the rats? If you want to get into it. Oh, I just added a bunch of time of this. Try that again. I, I forgot to do the fight first. It's fine. It's like 10 seconds. It's, it's fine. Shave 15 minutes off. Um, this is this on the next level will be where I really make up a bunch of time. I feel like. He's dead though. He's gone. I think that's the last one. Yeah, they have little binoculars. It's for it's for sighting the cheese. Well, I think they're supposed to be like. I think they're like scouts. Like they're supposed to look like like scouts from like World War II.
Because they're just wearing like weird little outfits, right? They're wearing like generic villain outfits. All right, we're going to the right, we're going to the fort. Really, really scared for the next level? I don't think so. They kind of, they, they never really mention humans either. Like even though it's a human world, right? Like there's very obviously, you know, giant people who live here. But they don't ever like talk about them or mention them. It's kind of like Rescue Rangers, I guess. <laughs> If you want to put a bow on it. Okay, we get to listen to the good music again. Oh no, it came up on the bottom. I'm so sorry. One sec, let me, let me, Apollo shouldn't be that hard, that high up. I'll refund that as soon as you get, I get a chance. That's, that's not a fair rat fact. Six rats left. That's true. Here, I'll give you another one. I was gonna refund it, but I figure if I just give you another one, that would be fine. I don't know what you're talking about, trash. You can't put that. You can't put that crime on me. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. I tell you. Yes. Sometimes too, if you just like beat, if you just get a rat to like low health and kind of hit them towards your allies, they'll clean up the mess for you too. It's great. It'd be three more, three more red rats. That's a little shortcut right there too, getting them from this side. Normally I go around the whole outside, but I know where the last rat is too. The map's worked. He's right there. Just a couple of maps, in the, or there's just a couple of fights left and then it's on level four. And then we can switch to the next map. Okay. 
Okay, one fight here that's gonna take me into the toddler area. I'm gonna do the second fight. And then the final fight. Clean up this other one too. It's like right here. Love to see it, folks. absolute mess. It would be really tough for the fourth level, but I think I got it. I got the maps. that mushroom. Maybe dog. It's gone. Whatever. Welcome. You're here at a you're at a you're here at a tumultuous moment. The end of stage three. The 
definitely said that word right. Follow orders a little too well is the best part, like with the, the allies, they kind of just... Great, the AI is a little too good, which is, which is nice for once for a bad game. Oh, here we go. See? Picked up another 10 minutes, it's no problem. for this level, it's perfect. This is the cellar. Um, all the fights happen in this room, except for the final fight, so the, the best way to do this is obviously to uh, find all the rats and then do four fights in a row. And then do level five, which is just four fights in a row. So, you know, they kind of ran out of uh, ideas at this point. rooms it also has like an upper floor that's just the rooms that are near like there's just an upper floor to every room so it gets like extra it got extra complicated to route there's a there's a few times i like triple back over the same route because it's the fastest so the map has gotten very messy uh, the route itself is uh not really sure what i'm supposed to be doing most of the time when I did it last night, though, I was only missing, like, two rats at the end, so, and I knew where they were. We're gonna hope that, uh, that continues. cellar which is really only to grab these two like rats right here because the next route next time i end up in the south cellar i'm just like on the other side of the the area so it's not worth it since it's a really really big map
attack that one. So I gotta get into the rafters for the first time, which is where uh, it starts to get real confusing, so I'm gonna hopefully get all ten of the red rats that are up there. There's there's ten red rats in these two central areas in the rafter. Sorry, no, there's only there's four uh, there's four yellow rats. <laughs> very very important distinction, sorry everybody. Apologize. This is, totally got this. Thank you for your support. This trying time. Have fun. Have fun cleaning. I've said that before, though, so. away for just one second. Thank you for that boon. both of them at least. Let me see if this is where I'm supposed to end up. I don't think it is. I'm supposed to end up in the wet and that's that's great. Whoops. Yeah, I'm supposed to end up in uh, the upstairs of one of these other places. That's fine. Whoops. I was wondering why it didn't quite match, but the rats the rats in the upper floors are basically in the same spots, so I guess it's fine. the one even south, like farther south, but it's fine.
I'm getting. See, this map's already got me confused. I'm already screwed. I, I think I figured it out. Yep. Alright, we're good. Back on track. <laughs> past the exit as long as I see I got all the rats that's all that matters it's like as long as I got all four of them that are up here I didn't really lose much time but the real time loss from the last time I did this level was from uh, having to come up into the rafters like for like a third time so we're in the south cellar yes were my favorite. They just didn't even try <laughs> to hide them. friend time. Uh, spoiler, he sucks. So, uh, Monster Rancher 2, Monster Rancher DX comes out soon. Very excited. I'm gonna do a 14 hour stream or 12. I'm gonna do a very long stream of Monster Rancher 2 uh, the weekend it comes out. Uh, probably with a live cam of some sort. This is Ice, who's just now meeting him, even though he shows up like two levels ago. But, you know, there he is. He's the best run. He's the blue one with the cape. He does the, the oh ho ho laugh because his 
this game is, uh, nothing if not, uh, you know, shallow with its character design, I guess we could say. mallet up to get under the ceiling here. Crucially. Don't really use it for anything else. Simply to grab the uh, the guy up here in the rafters. here by himself though. only 13 rats left to find like in the game so close on the way to these fights and there's 10 red the 10 red are in the uh, the central area here and they're in like west central and east central on the ground floor so i got this yeah Thank you. 
first. Go to the inside. Go to the inside, then uh, go to the southwest. Go to, I'm gonna go to. There's two tracks in the central and west, or east central and west central areas here. There's like an inside lane and an outside lane, if that makes sense. I think I missed him early on. Oh, I got that one. Yeah, there he is. Can't believe I missed this one. Five red rats. Right. There's one right there. Inside lane. That's gonna wrap around. I'm gonna go to the inside lane for a second. Yep, pretty good. Inside lane first. There's a rat you can only see from the inside lane. He's back there. Very important rat. I'm so close, I can taste it. There's one more here, and then I just need to get into the rafters, get the last one. Or get the get the last yellow rat, do four fights, and then do the final fight. And I'm done.
put me in the east cellar? Yep. to the to west central here via the rafters without getting too confused and then that'll let me go to the, the rafters in the north cellar where the last rat is and conveniently it'll drop me off into the into the um oh. just get out right here actually what are you doing and that'll drop me into the four fights though idea what those hearts mean on the status screen. This is the cellar entrance. We get really good time on this. All three of these guys are done. That's three, four. I right, see how those are. Those are good drinking on those. Miscounted. Ow. 
they get me into health, so whatever. But... I'll be down there. I think that's the last one. Yep. Cool. One more. And then the final fight. And then the final level. Down. I was gonna come. Yeah, I was gonna. I, was, I just figured we'd still meet up, Rocky. That's why I was like, oh, I can do this early in the day. I just, I had to get this out of the way. I couldn't dedicate my whole Sunday to speedrunning sneakers again, which is what would have happened if I uh, did it tomorrow instead. I gotta bake like 12 fruitcakes tomorrow. Yeah, it's fine. Well, I'll bake in the 12 fruitcakes tomorrow. It's gonna take like all day. It's fine. To do like a baking stream maybe especially if i was making the 12 fruit cakes but like there's not really like a good setup for that and i'd have to like clean my kitchen a lot like deeper clean it and i don't want to do that <laughs> Close though. So the final fight's in the is in the depths, which is through the south cellar, which means we gotta get into the rafters again. For like the sixth time. to show you my dirty kitchen now but I am willing to serve people fruitcake made from it or made in that dirty kitchen
It's like in your best interest to keep everything stun locked. That's great. I think I got pretty lucky here. Everybody's hitting the boss now. Two bosses from this level, never mind, that's right. It's 33 minutes though so far. Let's see if I can beat this and get it in under two hours. Coming in, coming in on the end here, folks. On to the next fight. So I think I fight all three of the bosses from the previous levels, and then I fight like a big boss, if I remember right.
Getting there. I got him. Getting close. Yeah, there's no way I'm coming in under two hours. Still so many fights. They're all like four minutes long. It says two minutes, but it's a lie. Take more damage if you knock some, like knock a rat into somebody. It definitely feels that way. Maybe I'm getting like damage from the from hitting a rat into them, and also from the punch itself. strategy down there. This is, this is the guy leaving the rats. That's all you need to know.
Good final music, though. Oh no, I lost her. I lost the mouse. He died. Rip Pete. He's gone. And there goes Doji, too. Oh my god. How can they not handle this? There's like eight of them and two of us up here. down and it gets easy. Oh yeah, it's like, it's got like nothing. Oh no, he died! Yeah, it feels really weird that there's permadeath considering how the, the ending goes. It's like non-stop. I better be ready to hit the stop here. Though. I think I got him. Oh, 
There we go. Gotta get ready for the battle results screen. Done. It's uh, 31 minutes. I don't have like a little cheer emote or anything, but uh, yeah. I did it! Hey, that counts. Perfect. Easy. See? See? It's fine. I shaved like th I saved 30 minutes off because I really fucked up the second stage. Precisely. Have a nice day. Jesus. I know it's so sad. There he is. <laughs> Why are we still here? Is it to suffer? <laughs> people that survived oh no where's everyone else they're all dead they don't show up in the cutscene oh no that's yeah, pretty funny <laughs> Die. oh that's so good Thank you, everybody. Thank you for coming along for this re-record. Hey, Apollo. Get that What's music up, up. Boss? Where's the cheese? Oh, hey. pet Pete. He loves to eat. <laughs> what? 10,000 watts of smart. <laughs> Brutus. Ooh, fluffy dove guy. <laughs> hey, Bonnie. Where's your brother? <laughs> Where is Tiki? Thank you. Now I just got to get it on YouTube. So good. I might, I might go for the sub two hours. It's definitely possible. I, I lost a bunch of time on the second stage. Thanks, creature. Why this thing is showing my feet or showing my name on my feet. It's really strange. <laughs> it counts. I forgot I was gonna drop like a giant Apollo on the screen. Shame the mappies don't animate on the uh, on the emote wall. They even say sneakers. Yeah, I mean it's so. Someone in the Dream Harrier uh, Discord was looking this up and found a bunch of stuff for sneakers, a bunch of promo material, uh, specifically tying them to the like the J, like the it's like a idol group called folder five there's like a promo flyer with their name on it so they might be the ones who are singing this 
is my completely unauthorized guess, but it doesn't really sound like idle music, so... But as far as I know, I, we have no idea who wrote the theme song and is performing the theme song. I think that was, uh, oh, that was uh, Snake Man with Dream Harry actually found that for me. That was very nice of them. Along with the uh, the official Sneakers plush, which I'm now uh, on the hunt for, that came out with the Japanese launch. I tried to be all smooth with that, and it's just like, he just catches on everything because of the way Streamlabs is, or not Streamlabs, OBS is. Fuck Streamlabs. He's gone. Half their friends are dead because the little, because the kid took a nap on the, uh, on the roof. I, I don't, I don't, I don't use slobs. Thank you very much. Oh, no, it's fine. Anyway, uh, yeah, that was, that was Sneakers. We got a final grade of B because there's only friends remaining four. More like Stink Labs, that's right. More like, uh, Sucks Labs. See, he said two hours and 13 minutes for that, them, and that's bullshit. Like, their, the in-game timer is, uh, completely, completely wrong. I'm wondering where it gets that extra eight minutes from. Oh man, those those show up on the alert box uh, or the uh, the emote wall pretty well though. Well, anyway, thank you for. Yeah, no Apollo. I I like Apollo's design more and more. Also, this like weird, this weird promo Apollo I found. Or it does, it's not quite the same. Like he's wearing like a red shirt instead of a jacket. Yeah, it's the prototype. Anyway, I'm done. I'm done messing around with this. Um. They just like making up lyrics on the spot for what the, uh, based on what they're seeing. It's great. But uh, I think I'm uh, I think I'm done for now. I think we'll leave the. Oh, I guess we don't get to listen to the music anymore. I'm sorry. There's no there's no cap on the on the the end of the game the end of the stream. Good 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 afternoon, everybody. I'll uh, enjoy the rest of your Saturday. I'll be back next week. Thank you, everybody, for the congrats. We'll find somebody to raid here. Oh, Ran Rans. Have a nice rest of your day.